Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do some 6.5 millimeter Grendel for all you hipsters that just got to be different. 6.5 millimeter is uh, essentially a 25 caliber bullet on a 7.62 by 39 millimeter case. And it has a generally a pretty high ballistic coefficient, which means it can be fairly flat shooting for a relatively low velocity. We're going to fire Hornady's 123 grain SST from an ALG 12 inch upper. Let's get out to the range and fire it into some 10% ballistic gelatin. All right, guys, this is, uh, this is pretty impressive. Absolutely outstanding performance. You can see that there's essentially zero neck. If you wanted to be super conservative, you could measure that at maybe half an inch, maybe. But really, you start to see disruption almost instantly. There is significant fragmentation throughout. Big chunks here, 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 here. And they come well off of the main track. The TSC is modest in width at about three and a quarter inches, but it's a little over 10 inches long. Still dropping little fragments along the track here, but these would not contribute to wounding a great deal. Total penetration, 16.7 inches. Let's get a look at the projectile. That is beautiful. Nice big expansion, real smooth, uniform, almost circular. You can see that the jacket stayed intact with the uh, lead core for the most part. Of course, there is fragmentation throughout, so it's not 100% weight retention. But as far as defensive ammunition, we'd like to see a bit of fragmentation because that helps transform a temporary stretch cavity into tearing, and it seriously exaggerates a wound. This is absolutely excellent. Uh, the penetration is almost perfect. We want to see penetration for defensive use between 14 to 16 inches. Of course, you know that the minimum is 12 inches and the maximum is 18 inches, but ideal is 14 to 16, and this was 16.7, so it was nearly perfect. We'll get some good photographs and measurements when we get home, but this is outstanding. Standing performance. If you wanted to choose a 6.5 Grendel for home defense, this would be close to the top of the list. All right, so outstanding performance. Penetration was perfect. 16.7 inches is right in that 12 to 18 inch range. It's just barely above the 14 to 16 inch sweet spot, so it is a very good choice for defensive use. Basically no neck. This thing started expanding almost immediately. There was not high weight retention. It did lose a fair amount of weight, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for a defensive round because there's lots of fragmentation that helps expand that temporary stretch cavity and convert some of the stretching into tearing, which creates a more devastating wound. While 6.5 millimeter may not be most people's first choice for defensive use, if your home defense gun is a 6.5 millimeter, or if you think it might get pressed into that sort of role, this would be a fantastic choice for that purpose. If you have any questions or if you disagree with something I've said, definitely leave a comment below. I'm always interested in hearing your feedback. And join us in the discussion back on the forum. I'll post the link to that in the description below. If you have the time, head on over and check out Aimed Research. The footage that we used of the high speed of the bullet impacting the gel was made possible by Nathan Bohr at Aimed Research. And if you want to create awesome looking, true high speed imagery like that, get in touch with them. He'll get you squared away. We'll leave his contact information in the description also. Have a great day.